Bonjour! My name is Blair Martin Lewis, and today I will be talking about the web page I created about the verbs être and avoir, and how it can help students in an entry level French course. I used a bottom down approach. I summarize what être and avoir are at the top of the web page, as well as what will be covered along the way. My intent is that this will capture the readers who need this web page, those struggling with the differences of the two verbs, and not waste the time of those who are looking for a different subject, whether that is different verbs or the past and future tense of être and avoir. I put the emphasis that this is for an entry-level French course, which will signal to readers that the web page will be covering the verbs in the present tense. I use simple definitions and literal translations to open up the discussion and allow the student to feel at ease with the content, not overwhelmed. Throughout the web page, I used a balance of text and graphics. What I love from a presentation is graphics that make me laugh or connect with me in some way, as well as graphics that are useful and help enforce the information being given. I keep the paragraphs as short as I can, but still upholding the information with statements the professor would say and a simpler explanation in terms that is more accessible to students. The videos that I have placed are all spoken in French and can be easily understood in a beginner level French course, which will keep the reader interested due to the enjoyment of getting a break from reading a lot of information. As we can see down here, I have a GIF of Joey from Friends where he is speaking French, which he's really not, it's just a bunch of words, but that's how a lot of entry level French students feel as they're still learning and starting out. Um, I, try, I was keeping my message direct. I used direct subject headings to immediately let the reader know what they can expect from a paragraph. The sentences are short to keep it to the point, as well as emulate the simple sentence structure that is encouraged in beginning French courses. There are on the surface connections and indicators of where the web page and paragraph will be going next, so that the reader doesn't feel like there is no point in reading on. As we can see in my images here, I have the common uses of etre and the common uses of avoir, where I then go into just a little um, explanation of them and some examples in order to help solidify what we're trying to learn. Um, I used active voice. I talked to the reader directly throughout the web page so that I can build a familiar connection with them to let them know that we all struggle through it, but in the end there can be be a success at understanding when and where to use etre and avoir. The relatable gifts are a direct connection to the image that I am a peer, not a teacher, and in wanting to help find new ways to get the information to stick into memory, being able to use it past the test and into the future beyond their semester. I made it a point to mention what the teacher would be saying in class so that students can recall what I am writing about while in class, based discussion, and vice versa. It is helpful when a student is reading my webpage to be able to recall a direct statement from the teacher. It gives me credibility as a writer on the subject. Per paragraph, I only was focusing on one topic in order to keep it nice, condensed, and simple. All of my current paragraphs have headers that indicate what the paragraph topic is so that students will not be overwhelmed with information that jumps back and forth between avoir and etre. There is one verb in focus for a specific paragraph, just that the, just as there is one verb being focused on the example portion that I give after the explanations, which we saw a couple slides before. Images are also used to indicate a change in topic, in this case a change in verb, which is helpful to refer back to as a student reads from the topic about the topic verb. Here we can see that I used this image of, of, of our con conjugation and how it's used in the present tense. And then I go into explanation of how it works and the way, different ways that we would be using it. I did keep in mind that in a text-based society, we are all reading on our phones all the time. So I break up text with images so that the website feels a bit more like social media instead of a long piece of text. The paragraphs are kept short so that they don't take up more than the screen and allows for easy skim reading right before walking into class. The headers are in bold so that students can scroll right to the section that they need that they might be struggling with more, whether that be conjugations, real life examples, or basic definition. I did this while keeping keywords in mind. Um, I used references to teacher statements which was important for me to include as it usually is the language that is used in other online sources. I keep the verb specific. It may seem redundant at first, but it helps the student continuously identify the verb in conversation, as well as make it easier to look up my source, getting rid of any confusion there might be on what the topic is. I also conjugate the verbs in different sections of the web page, which connects the French statement with the English translation. I make an effort to use simple and common nouns and adjectives that will be searched more often in a basic French course to make my web page more accessible. 
I did this with the viewer in mind. I kept the reader in mind throughout this process, choosing videos that an entire class would enjoy. I used simpler terms than what might be heard in the classroom in order to accommodate for where their for where the confusion might be occurring, using words and phrases and statements that are foreign to beginners, which frustrates them from the beginning, halting their learning development. I use a helpful link section to connect the YouTube videos with a playlist of a French Canadian show that can help with not only my topic, but the entire semester. I link to a page of worksheets so that students can be the mobile of their own learning and practice on pages that won't be graded, therefore taking the stress off of the practice work. And, you know, with all of this in mind, I wanted to be transparent. I made it known from the beginning that I am a student and we as a class are in this together. I was learning the same content as everyone else and it drives me to want to help more. I stray away from too much definition because the struggle usually comes from the usage of the verbs, not what they mean. I wanted to give more examples and explanation so as to help further the learning development. At the end of the webpage, I included conjugated versions of avoir so the students can see how simple the sentence structure should be. In French, I stated that I am a student as well and that we are in this together. It helps keep up morale if students feel as students feel they are not alone and I wanted to show the transparency of my own struggles and my own learning with the French language. As we can see down here, I conjugated it pretty well and this is the kind of stuff that we're looking at in a entry-level French course. So thank you for listening. In creating this web page, I achieved my goal of creating something to help student-led education and I thank you for your time. A bientôt!